All right, y'all. As you can see, I put her on the stand. That's what she look like on the stand. I'm about to go through her a little bit. I'm going to see if today I can just take the harness off, take all the label, all the wires, and, and take the harness off um, completely. I'm still debating if I want to do the carburetor setup or do I want to go ahead and send the computer off and um, have it have it done. Uh, depends on pricing. Uh, they said the carburetor setup is a little bit easier, but uh, we shall see. As you can see, it looked like he broke a couple things off um already but uh the clips are still there so i gotta see exactly what that goes to um all in all look like it's intact but uh i'll let y'all know i'll fill y'all in once i get everything um completely off all right two it begins all right y'all pulled her outside Put some easy off on in the oven cleaner. As you can see, same stuff I used uh, for the uh, engine bay. Worked pretty well. I'm gonna do this twice, just to get all, you can see it's bubbling. I've been up there for like five minutes now. And then I don't have a pressure washer, so I'm gonna just hit it with the regular um, hose, spray it down. I'm gonna do it twice to get all as much grease as possible. As you can see, the whole engine is foaming up. So, it's coming along. See, see if it do what it do. You know what I mean? Then I'm going to pull all this off, all the accessories. I'm going to pull off just to see what I got. And see what I got to order. Cut you back on, too. All right. There we go. Close to bear as I possibly can. Okay, it's all washed down. Let it dry just a little bit, but I'm about to take the intake off. Uh, which was these bolts up here. I'm going to keep them in so I don't lose them. I'm going to keep them in so I don't lose them. They're all on the wrong side. Also, I'm going to take a couple hoses off. One right here. The vent right here. And also, I believe it was this one right here. Just, just, just a little record, so I know exactly what I took off. All right, this is what she looked like, all muddy and mucky. Even though I washed it down, the knock sensors are in here. From my understanding. These right. the vent, vent tubes. Right. Um. See in there. I want to take these heads off just to see what I got, just to look at them. 
But this is what I got so far. I'm gonna just wipe her down and then uh, just keep this taking her apart from here. All right, y'all. As you can see, I made me a little uh, push rod box or whatever. I had a box laying around. And I basically made that the back of the engine, looking at it like this. Back, right, and left. That way I can use the same push rods. It's funny, these push rods over here on the left-hand side look super clean. But these push rods over here on the right-hand side is like mucky and, and, and just, just nasty. I'm kind of concerned about that. And as you can see, I'm a little concerned about this also. I showed you in that another clip where the knock sensor post go, that tray, it broke. So I'm a little concerned about that also. So I gotta do my research and see exactly what I'm gonna do there. Um, it's sludge, but not that, not that much. So I'm gonna take the heads off and look what I got from there. All right, y'all, this is what we got so far. I broke it all down. It's not as clean as I wanted it to be, but she got 200 miles on her. I turned her over a couple times and pistons moved freely, no problems. I uh, put some WD-40 in there, that's what, what you see in here, that's number WD-40, because I'm going to wrap it up for the day. I'm going to uh, get it cracking tomorrow. Them heads, the, the right side head is like completely grimy, and this side head is cool, so I don't know, I might replace the heads, or uh, see if I get some junkyard heads or something like that, but we shall see tomorrow more crack this water pump off and then um, focus on the harmonic balancer. Um, take the uh, oil pan off. You know, just strip her all the way down. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, uh, but I ain't done yet. So, like I said, I'm still a little worried about this right here. The uh, knock and sensor tray uh, came off. So I'm hoping I can replace that. Maybe it's just a stem. You want to scroll, put a stem in there. We shall see, but this is what she looked like so far. Again, this side don't look too bad. This side right here, I'm a little worried about. Uh, it definitely needs maybe a, a bath or flush or whatever they want to call it to get all that uh, gunk out. Again, it's a 200,000 um, mile motor, so I didn't expect it to be super clean, but we shall see. I'll cut y'all back on.